joining us. Area high school runner has got a special visitor today. World marathoner Dick Birdsley hung out with them today. Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Joe Harris has more details in our top story tonight. Joe? That's right, Rod and Megan. And he didn't just talk about achieving success. He also talked about when life goes wrong and pushing through. A lot of times, especially as a young person, you really don't know. On Thursday, high school cross-country runners from the area got to visit with former world marathoner Dick Beardsley. They met up at Lincoln High, and after a run around the track, they heard Beardsley speak in the auditorium. He told them before he competed in the London and Boston marathons, cross-country was his first sport. And I was terrible. And so uh, I, I talk about that and how I kind of got started and then how I kind of moved up the ladder and, and got further in running than I ever, ever dreamed I would have got when I first started running. But things weren't always good for Beardsley. More than 20 years ago, following a string of accidents and surgeries, he became addicted to painkillers. I mean, it was to the point where I was, you know, I was stealing drugs from my dad who was dying of cancer. I was doctor shopping. I even got to the point where I was forging my own prescriptions. He says he was eventually caught and went into treatment and says he's been sober for 22 years since. Many runners are taking something from his story. He seems like a great guy and he's done amazing things, overcoming everything and just a really great runner. And that's what Beardsley wants. If I can be a mentor to some of these kids and show them that, you know, Life isn't all peaches and cream. You're going to face some adversity in your life, but know that you can get through that and get on top of things, and life can be as good as you want it to be. Now, Beardsley also says he enjoys talking to younger generations about a sport he continues to love and hopes when they reach his age, they'll promote it to younger generations too. Great story tonight, Joe. Thank you very much.